So this is such a random video. Oh my gosh, did I break my glasses again? I sat on them again. I got other glasses, but I can't find them at the current moment. This is life. These glasses need to go. I had them so long and they're just breaking apart. I have so many old glasses and I wear them and then like this is bad. I need to go find my other glasses because this is not the life. But anyway, so this idea randomly popped into my brain. I was just like, I should do like a day in the life kind of thing. I did this kind of last time before, but it was more so only me. It's still going to be me, but it's a little different because it's going to, I think I'm going to title this um, while being an older sibling. So I am the oldest of my three siblings. So pretty much it is summertime. So I'm not working. I don't work during the summer. Well, I take that back. Sometimes I do summer casts, but this year it's coronavirus and all that stuff. So, um, but since we're all home, and it's just us. Normally, like, so my my sister after me, she pretty much she's a teenager now, so she doesn't really need me to really do much for her. Maybe sometimes cooking. Like yesterday, I wish I kind of pulled out the camera because yesterday I cooked like rice and tofu, and only me and her would like tofu. So. You know, I was like, I bought the, we had bought the tofu like before, but I hadn't cooked it yet. So I made rice and tofu. And first of all, I'm actually excited because I'm not even a cook, I'll be honest with you. But um, I made rice for the first time and it was good. So I was happy about that. Um, but anyway, so today I don't know what we're going to eat. I don't know if I'm going to cook anything. I don't think I am. I'll see. Um, but I'll kind of bring you guys along and show you guys what I make. If I do cook something or what I, what I choose to use in the house. Um... But as for after my sister and my younger brother, he's younger. He's going on six this year. We sh and I've talked about this already that we share the same birthday. But anyway, um, so pretty much I have to like watch him. Like he's big enough to like maybe like if you give him his food, he can eat that type of stuff. But I just have to watch him, make sure you know he gets a shower, etc., etc. So that's what I'm actually gonna do now. Um, and it's hectic because like today is like a wash day for me so i literally you'll see another video probably that would drop before this video if anything and you will see me doing a like a comparison video like so you have to kind of find that um balance pretty much so i kind of do it like i got gave him his breakfast and all that stuff and then i had my sister watch him so it's kind of like me and my sister because she has stuff to do as well she's going into her summer class right now so kind of like you have to find that balance so because she's old enough and i don't want to leave him alone so i literally what i did was i showered i shampooed my hair came out the shower we all had our breakfast and while my brother was watching tv here i was filming and that is the goal and then hopefully by then what time is it now it is 11:02. i mean just ate breakfast not too long ago like an hour ago so i'm not really hungry so i probably won't make food until around 12 31 o'clock so yeah so i'll take you guys through the rest of the day but this is just me doing the intro part hopefully it's not boring and then i'll see you guys soon so i'm i'm about to put on the ac i'm starting to get hot but um i'm actually trying to just finish doing the finishing touches on the video for today now i've said this before so just to show you guys quickly hopefully you guys can see this so i'm uploading this video and i currently use i have very cute and tube buddy but i'm currently really liking tube buddy because tube buddy allows me to kind of use what they have what's called the keyword explorer and i can see like how good the um the tag is so it'll tell you like if it's fair poor very good good or like okay or good i think that's the other one so I go through that and pick the best in terms of what we call them tags and then just to get my videos to rank and I definitely like I went on YouTube and searched the search terms for those specific videos and it actually does help so so like right now I try to get mine because I also use the vidIQ score which um, is out of 50 so like for example right now mine's at 33.7 now when the number is green that means it's like good if it's yellow it's kind of like average and then if it's poor the, if your number is a poor number which would probably be like a 10 out of 50 it'll be red 
So right now I'm still in like good standing, but I try to aim for at least 40 something out of 50 in terms of my video IQ CEO score. But I also make sure that my tags are good um, searchable tags for ranking. So I've been really focusing on that lately. Um, in the past, I was writing tags, but I wasn't really focusing on like, oh, is this tag going to help me do X, Y, and Z? But now I do that. Um, so yeah, I just go through that. I go through my description, making sure that, um, you know, all the description is filled in. Anything that I need to fill, fill in, I fill that in. So because I have this uploaded for 12 o'clock, which is 20 minutes, um, I tried to, I'm trying to just finish doing the last finishing touches because I had uploaded it earlier. Hopefully I seen I feel like okay, yeah, I had it ordered it earlier today, but I just didn't um put it up for I just didn't like do the necessary like tags and stuff. I started it but I didn't finish it. So then I just play around with tags, seeing if I could add a little bit more because the tag section is limited. So that's the thing, description box is not as limited. Description box you get to write five thousand words, but in the tag box you can only write um, 500 so that's where you're kind of limited so I tried to pick the best that's going to help me rank of course all your tags will not rank but if you can get at least some tags to rank that's always good instead of having no tags that rank so I just what I just go ahead and do so I'm cut off the camera but that's pretty much what I'm gonna do this video will probably be up way before you see this this little vlog type of thing I'm trying to do um, hopefully I'm not sitting here all the time but this is just comfort to just sit here and do what I have to do and then um, I'm probably going to go ahead and go I don't know about you guys but when I'm doing my hair um, I tend to watch a show a movie to pass the time and yeah so like I said earlier I would have wanted to do a flexi rod set but I'm trying to be quick right now and I think though for sure next week I will do one it's just because flexi rod sets are definitely time consuming. You have to make sure you get product. I've done them before, but it's just time consuming. Twist outs, I'm really fast at doing, so I don't have to worry about um, it taking forever to do because I'm really quick with it. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to create a thumbnail, sorry. I was just like in my thing. And another tip that I, I found useful because also I'm trying to get better with my thumbnails. Sometimes I lack on my thumbnails, I'll be honest. Um, but what I normally do is I actually use, um, what do you call it, um, on my actual video I'll go into what it's called in my iMovie and then I'll use the screenshot feature. So like if you search, so if you search the screenshot feature you will actually see that you'll be oh, able to go down, that was my video. Yeah, if you search the screenshot, vid, um, the screenshot in the search tab you'll be able to screenshot and that's what I normally do and then I'll get my thumbnail that way if I want a specific thumbnail. So hold on. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna finish my thumbnail because it's supposed to go out soon. And then I will talk to you guys probably in the next segment of this day. Day in the life of my life today. So yeah. Sorry if it's loud, I'm watching Smart Guy because I actually never watched that. I mean, I was, wasn't was even born, I think, or I was just born when it just came out. But anyway, um, I'm using some of the Kraft Parmesan cheese, some milk and butter to make spaghetti for my brother, and me and my sister are going to have sweet potato fries, and I'm going to have a black new burger, and, and uh, yeah, so... So I'm currently in my room. I'm watching Smart Guy. Now I was not born. I think I was born after the show came out. So I never really saw the show before. Um, so I have Disney Plus. So I'm like, I might as well watch it. So I just got into season two. I'm looking at emails, and I'm currently on CrowdTap. Not sponsored. CrowdTap is basically a company, a website where. And that's how I get a lot of free gift cards so I could purchase stuff. So, <laughs> um, without using my own money, right? 
Hopefully you guys can see me. So I'm just doing my skincare routine. And I don't know it's weird. Um, but anyway. What I was going to say is weird is that I moisturize after doing my skin. But anyway. So I'm currently on a purge of trying to get um, not rid, well yeah, get rid of my Shea Moisture products because um, being that I was an ambassador last year, I still have so much stuff even though I gave away some stuff. So I'm just trying to finish this. I'm almost officially done with this Shea Moisture um, Coconut and Cast This Water Quench and Refresh Body Lotion. I just started picking this back up just to show you. I just started picking it back up again this summer. Last summer, that's what I did. I was using like all summer and then I had stopped. I guess because you know winter came along and then I feel like I needed a very heavier thing that's why I normally go towards my Palmers during like winter sometimes summer as well because I feel like the cocoa butter does help me as well but anyway so I have this and then this is what's left oh, oh well this is blocking it but it's a pretty thick cream I'm like almost there I'm like right here so I just want to be done with this actually but I do like it um, it smells really good. I got, I believe, five products from this line. I have an old video. I'll probably leave it up, leave a card up above. But I got the face scrub. Was it? No, it was a face, a bar soap. I gave it away um, to a family member. It was bar soap, the body scrub. I gave that away too. I tried. No, I did a video. I tried it, um, but I didn't. I wasn't. I'm not really into body scrub, so I gave that away. And um, what else? Oh yeah, we got the conditioner which I actually loved and that was something that I loved that they gave like in a small jar which I finished like so quickly but I did like that as well and then I think that was it in that line so yeah I use that um as always I use my Dickinson's witch hazel and I'm it's starting to go fast this time around I think because I'm starting to use it morning and night I never used to but you can use it morning and night because I just feel like sometimes I need that extra cleansing so but yeah and this one is the pore perfecting this is the original rich hazel they have different ones i use any of them i've used the pink the blue they all do different a little bit of different things but they're all the witch hazel i've used the pink the blue one this is the yellow one and then after that i'm gonna go in with my rose face mask if these are real to rose petals which hydrates and skins from the line fresh i got this um this is like probably this is not the most expensive well i think yeah this is one of the most ex expensive um skincare products that i've purchased um i originally i've talked about this but if you're new i got this for free before in a giveaway i had one like a giveaway with 12 masks um but i had i believe the smaller version of this when i got it they gave me sampling of 12 masks and this was one of them and i fell in love with it so for a while i kept on saying that i wasn't while I talk, let me do this. So I kept on saying, I'm not going to buy this, I'm not going to buy it. But then I saw it, I think it was in Sephora one day, and then I ended up buying it. And then I went in Sephora again and bought it again. So this is now, I think, my third one, and I'm about to be done. It goes quickly, though. That's the thing. For $25, it works, but it like they make it in such a small jar, so it's like you're just gonna go and spend another 25 20 25 dollars i believe it's 25 yeah i'm pretty sure it is for it and i wanted to try other stuff in the line but the, in the line but everything else is like more than 20 it was like 40 dollars i think i saw and i was just like mm, no i'm not gonna spend 40 dollars but i definitely do like the mask because literally like when i tell you like you see i don't even have that much pimples now like i've cleared my skin up from the last time because before it was really bad but um i just have like minor pimples on my face and but like if they're huge by the next day like it's like they look like nothing so that's all like but of course you know you gotta drink drink well yeah you drink your water but also make sure you know you're eating healthily and do i always do that no but i'm really on a journey to get back get it together i say that all the time but seriously so this is what it looks like the rose this is the rose petal mask like I said it's pretty much almost done and it has like little petals in it you can't really see it but I don't know if you guys can see it but there's a petal in it, and it smells so good so yeah that's what I use and then I'll 
I'm still using again Shea Moisture. I have so many, so it's like I'm just at the point where I'm just trying to finish it. That's why I use the 100%, and I got a lot from their 100% virgin coconut oil line, like from lotions to the conditioners. So I'm just like trying to use them up because it's like so much every time I'm looking into my drawers and I'm just like I still have more Shea Moisture on top of that I got other brands of skincare not only from Shea Moisture but other brands that I've acquired either acquired or purchased myself so it's like yeah but yeah I'm gonna leave this on and then I mean I'll come back I guess to show you guys what I use but I I pretty much showed you guys in so many videos so this is more so like if you're new to my channel and yeah. Alexa put a timer for 10 minutes 10 minutes starting now at least of course I've said this a bunch of times but I use the Shea Moisture 100% version coconut oil day hydration overnight face almost almost done with this almost there so, yeah, but I use this. It's an overnight face oil, so you can use this. So say apply thin layer to clean skin prior to bedtime for dry skin can be used day and night. I don't use day and night only because I'm use, currently using the Shea Moisture, their day time lotion or daily lotion hydration. So, yeah, that's why I don't use this day and night, but... And then, of course, my good old Vaseline. If I don't use Vaseline, I use my lip oil, which I've been looking for. I don't know where it is. I had two of them, but I like the lip oil as well. Um, from, I believe it's... Is it Mika K or NYX? I don't think it's either, but when I find it, um, then I'm going to use those two on my lips. So, yeah. I don't know if you can see my face now, but hopefully you guys liked this video make sure you like you comment and subscribe i think i'm done for this day in the life vlog and i'll see you guys in the next one bye